not so fishing. Who can resist the urge to tip fighting game fish with light tackle, rods, lines, and artificial lures designed to give a hooked fish a chance for freedom? Here's a natural haunt of the speckled trout, clean, cold, fast water that sings a wilderness melody as it rushes down the valley. A cast is almost certain to tempt a hungry trout. Now the test of skill. The struggling fighting fish is swept downstream and has the swift current in his favor. One false move and the line will break. Careful, get him in just the right position. Success! A speckled beauty. The Muscalonge is the undisputed freshwater heavyweight champ. He's surly and mean and temperamental. There are ways to bring him to gaff, but not without a battle. Here's a cast that immediately infuriates a big one. He strikes viciously. Now to meet his rushes, give line, take line, keep him from diving under a sunken log. Now he's close to the boat and still full of fight. But finally the battle is won. A likely looking to be lurking under those lily pads. A strike. He'll shake that hook loose if he can. Many a fish has been lost right here beside the boat when a fisherman isn't expert with the landing net and a big one doesn't exactly cooperate. Not a bad specimen either. Here's another musky fisherman getting action. It's a big one. They'll have a job to bring him aboard. No trout net will hold this fellow. He must be more than 20 pounds. How much? 10, 20, 30, 2, 32 pounds. There's a thrill in shooting down the rapids of a wilderness stream in a frail canoe, but these fishermen are really looking for quite a different kind of thrill, a battle with a smallmouth black bass. He's a savage fighter who never quits until he's in the bag. The still quiet pools are also haunts of the bass. And here's a cast that ought to produce. And it does. The expert bait caster isn't deterred by the difficult spot for retrieving a plug. This is just where game fish are likely to be. You'll have to keep him clear of submerged roots or goodbye bass. Success, an expert job. Any fisherman would make a cast into water such as this. It just looks fishy. A bass is notorious for making a sudden rush under a boat, cutting the line and getting free. He'd better net him the first time. That's it. If all fishing trips could only be like this, action every minute, the big ones don't get away. Nobody comes home empty-handed. But there are such fishing places. The fisherman just has to know where to go, what to do, and how to do it when he gets there. The dyed-in-the-wool fisherman will travel hundreds of miles for this. He'll hire a guide, rent a canoe, and pay the expenses of a camp until each fish he catches will cost him about $10. But of course, he doesn't figure this way. If he did, he wouldn't like fishing. Here's one with the limit for the day, and it's time to return to camp. One more cast. And a strike. They can't keep this one, but the bass doesn't know it and he puts up a beautiful fight with action every second, trying to shake that hook loose, battling for freedom right up to the side of the boat, and never quitting until the net makes it hopeless. But they 
have their limit and let him go.